students so you are ready to go going for 10th class exams now so you want to get a good score so you have to write a maximum points isn't it so especially for four mark questions so minimum of uh, eight points you have to write for four mark questions so i in this my videos i'll be going to uh, give a clarity how uh, how you have to give that uh, eight points so let us start from the first lesson so i took the first video so the differences between the light reaction and dark reaction so here i am mentioning that eight points okay in some of the books they will be giving five six seven like that so i concise all those things and i am giving a full fledged eight points so now we are entering into that uh, explanation part okay light reaction here the light dependent reaction it means that so the name itself it has to indicating that so the light energy is required for this reactions so dark reaction light independent reaction so for this reaction there is no need of direct light energy okay so then next coming to the other names photochemical phase it is also called as photochemical phase so photo means light chemical means chemical energy it means that in this in this reactions light energy is converting into the chemical energy that's why it is calling it as photochemical phase and coming to this biosynthetic phase so biosynthetic phase in the sense in this uh, reactions a bio molecule like glucose is going to synthesizing so then coming to this so these reactions was uh, explained by the robert hill that's why it is also called as hill's reaction here dark reaction was explained by the melvin kelvin that's why it is called as kelvin cycle then next where it has to occurs so if you see that so it occurs in the grana of uh, chloroplast grana of chloroplast and coming to this uh, it uh, dark reaction occurs in the stroma of chloroplast so grana it is made up of thylakoid membranes it in this uh, chlorophyll it has to get filled so in the case of stroma all the enzymes it has to be filled for the dark reaction and coming to this chlorophyll pigment it has to be used in the light reaction but there is no need of any pigment in the dark reaction and in this what is the process in light reaction h2 uh sorry uh, water molecule is going to split into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions and finally they will be going for series of steps and convert into oxygen and uh, water molecules so this water it has to utilized in the plant and oxygen it has to be uh, coming out as a by product and here in the dark reaction co2 is fixed into the glucose and it will be stored as starch then next uh, in this uh, light reaction the major reaction is photolysis photolysis occurs in light reaction there is no photolysis in the dark reaction and coming to the atp and nadph2 are formed in this light reaction so these are also called as assimilatory power why because they will store the energy in the organic components so here atp and nadph2 are utilized and coming to the end product of light reaction oxygen water atp and nadph2 whereas in the case of uh, the end products of dark reaction so it is glucose thank you